This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Philippi, and my guests today are Frank Messina and Mark Williams, and they are here to talk about the uh, final farewell, the USO tour that Gallery does each year as a fundraiser. So, welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. So, what's uh, what's the deal this year? This is your 15th and final? It is the 15th and final. Um, there comes a time when you've accomplished what you set out to do, and like Oprah, you have to move on. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, and in this case, uh, 16 years ago, Joyce decided that uh, the gallery needed some type of a fundraiser to produce funds for their high school scholarships. Mm -hmm. And uh, she decided that since I already had a band, that perhaps we could put together a variety show built around the band, have some singers from gallery, do some skits. And uh, at that point in time, she was thinking, where could we have it? And she decided that there was, there was no dinner theater mm -hmm. in McMinnville. Mm -hmm. So she decided to have a uh, dinner theater at uh, Michael Book Country Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we did several shows there several years, and they were very successful. They always sold out, and there were always people who came to her afterwards and said, Joyce, I mean, we want to come to those shows, but they sell out. There isn't enough room for everybody. So about that time, the uh, Evergreen Aviation Museum mm -hmm. opened up, and we were patrons of the museum, so she went to them and said, how about if we were to do a show under the wing of the Spruce Goose and, and make it a USO show, a World War II USO show, kind of fit in with the scene and all. Sure. And they said, fine. So uh, we went ahead and did uh, a show there, and uh, we had all of the seats that we could prob possibly get, but they sold out also. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the people who were willing to pay and come in knew that there was standing room only. So uh, that was, again, a success, and she thought, well, we may need to move to a larger place where there is enough seating for everybody, which obviously in this town is the community center. Right. So we did several shows there, yes. uh, and uh, but really we, we wanted to make the gallery our home. And so after several years of having these successful sellouts, uh, the uh, board of directors at gallery uh, gave us a date uh, to utilize the main stage for this, uh, for this show each year. Mm -hmm. And so we've continued with the USO format, variety show, c uh, comedy, vocals, mm -hmm. my band playing. And, and I brought some, uh, some clips from previous shows. Okay. Uh, and one of the first clip, this first clip here, uh, was from a show that was set in the 1940s. And so we were, the band was playing uh, a tune called Jersey Bounce. And we had a young couple uh, dressed in uh, World War II style clothing doing a, a light swing dance to it. And uh, so uh, this is the, the first clip that we have okay. for this program today. Great. Well, let's take a look. Yeah. All right. Now, put on your dancing shoes as we listen to the Frank Messina band and Jersey Bass. Thank you. 
Okay, well, we're back. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah, we have uh, a variety of people in the show, and we like to feature um, singing groups as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had quartets, quintets, uh, choruses. Uh, we have an excerpt from uh, a previous show in which a, a quartet made up of three guys and, and a woman uh, have done the show several times. They won't be in this next show, but... Uh, they call themselves Three Guys and a Gale because her name is Gale. <laughs> I so love it. instead of Three Guys and a Girl, it's Three Guys and a Gale. Anyway, this is a clip uh, of uh, one of the selections that they performed several years ago on one okay. of the shows. Great. Popular demand. We've got a wonderful portrait. It's Three Guys and a Gale. They're here tonight to entertain you. Yes, thank you for the laugh. With some uh, great four part harmony. So please sit back, relax again, enjoy the sounds of McMinnville's favorite foursome singing It's a Good Day, followed by Old St. Louis. Nice job. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, Joyce, through the years, has also invited professional musicians who have moved up here from Hollywood, mm -hmm. uh, find out how wonderful it is to live here and can still travel and perform mm -hmm. around the country. Uh, and she's invited uh, some of them to perform for us as well. This next clip is of an excellent pianist and vocalist who's performed all over the United States and mm -hmm. uh, has done a no number of television uh, shows. Uh, here and in Europe as well. Her mm -hmm. name is Sydney Lehman, okay. and uh, she's going to be uh, accompanying herself on piano. She's an excellent pianist and a very good vocalist. Okay. So we'll let Lars Larson introduce her. Okay.
guess you were very lucky to have her available that year. Oh, yes. Well, she represents the Yamaha Piano Company mm -hmm. and tours for them all over the world as well as uh, not only here locally. And once in a while, she happens to be around. And this, for this particular year, uh, she was available to perform with mm. us and was happy to do so. This being the USO format, we like to salute all the branches of the mm -hmm. uh, armed forces at mm -hmm. the end of the show. And we'll be doing it again this year. Mm -hmm. 